China's growing aging population is among the challenges the government hopes to address with the results of the seventh national census. Here are some interesting indicators of the elderly in China. By the end of 2019, over 253 million people were aged over 60 in China. That's just over 18 percent of the population. But the number is expected to rise to at least 400 million by 2040, a rise of 30 percent. A key statistic of demographics is what's called the old age dependency ratio. Government statistics show that China's old age dependency ratio is lower than its child dependency ratio, but is expected to rise from 17 percent this year to over 50 percent in 2060. Caught in the midst of China's baby boom, many of the seniors remain the primary child care givers of the family. The latest data shows in 2014, at least 65 percent seniors in China have helped their children with babysitting. The percentage rose by seven percentage points from 2008, and nearly half of the seniors provide at least eight hours for their grandchildren and get this every day. But seniors in China try to stay involved. Percent said they have participated in community service, and over 45 percent said they are frequent event goers. And for more analysis on these trends, I'm joined via Skype by Wei Nanzhi, researcher at the Institute of American Studies at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences. Ms. Wei, welcome to the program. Do you think it is a norm now for the elderly to take care? Of their grandchildren, and what's been driving that trend? No, I don't think that it, it is long now for elderly to take care of their grandchildren, but I think it is rather a long Chinese tradition. Moreover, as we know, the expectation of life is much more longer than the case before. That means the health status of most elderly is good enough to take care of them grandchildren. And just as the program showed, the global birth rate is lower and lower nowadays. For example, the birth rate of China in 2015 is only 1.5. Undoubtedly, it means that particular emphasis is placed on children now. So the grandparents are eager to take care of their grandchildren. And also because of the increase in women labor participation rate, the high divorce figures, and the proportion of single parent families, and so on, such factors make more and more family uh, in urgent need of the elderly to take care of their mm. children. Thank you. Does this phenomenon, does this trend, ring alarm for the Chinese society that senior citizens somehow are? Uh, you know, being the, the primary child caregivers of the family, do you see any problems rise from that phenomenon? Yes, you know, in thousands of years throughout Chinese history, it's often the case that the seniors and the mothers are the prime child caregivers of the family, but their sons and daughter in law live, to live together with the seniors at the village or small towns. But nowadays, millions of Chinese young couples make migrants from their hometown to big cities such as Beijing, Shanghai, and so on. They have the jobs and the friends in big cities, but their old parents have to leave, uh, leave their hometown to take care of the uh, grandchildren. Uh, these seniors, they do not have friends in the big cities. They, some of them even cannot communicate fluently because of the accent. So it is over the case that such uh, seniors, they feel lonely and tired. They feel they're very weak. I think it's really a social problem. Thank you very much. Ms. Wei, thank you so much for making time for us today. I appreciate it.